Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the wonderful Webulus Project Zomboid. Last time, last time was kind of an interesting episode, and one that I kind of uh, enjoyed, uh, just because of the risk involved, <clears throat> and one that I'm going to be attempting to do similar again, and that is to go back to our old safe house and take what is rightfully ours back. Now, a lot of you, or not a lot of you, but some of you, have been voicing concerns over this new safe house that is not as safe, it may not be the best option for us, etc, etc. And I post to you, uh, the... Okay, okay, time to go. Wow, that guy, four hits, dear lord. I post to you the, uh, assurance that no safe house in general is very safe. Um, the closest thing to the safest safe house I could probably think of is gonna <clears throat> end up being the farm way far away if I ever do discover it. Um, and unfortunately, that is not in our short-term goals. Alright, time to back up. Couple smacks on him, we'll back up. <clears throat> I think the farm is something that, if we survive long enough, is inevitability. Something that we're going to end up gunning for eventually. But just for now, and where we- whoa, really? Okay, that was close. We just got scratched, probably bit. Um, and there's another one coming up on us. Oh, we got him. We got him with one shot. It was risky to, to take that shot, uh, but the reason I risked it is because it potentially had the ability, or the, uh, <clears throat> had the potential, rather, to pay off in a big way by just taking that one shot. We're gonna try and do the same here, and it, we lucked out. This one guy is the hardest one. He's the slowest one. Three, though, is not that bad. Or, it was actually, I think, four. Uh, but four is not that bad, really. Oh, okay, back up. Alright, four is not that bad, especially since we can kind of peel them away. They had differentiating speeds, meaning we were able to pull the faster ones out front, and he was so close to dead as it was, so that's good. Alright, let's loot them up real quick before we continue our speech. Um, the, yeah, the, the closest thing to an absolute safe safe house is going to be probably the farmhouse, or the ability to construct, wa <coughs> construct walls, which is something that we've not been able to do because of a lack of an axe. But I don't want to go looking for an axe without the... No, the know-how, or not the know-how, but the 100% uh, certainty that I have enough food stocks to kind of come home to and know that if I'm going to go out on an axe-looking spree, um, taking out and potentially wasting an entire day just looking for the axe and wasting resources is not going to be that big of a hindrance on us in the long run, so long as we have more food uh, to come home to. And right now, we don't really sit at that comfort level yet. We don't have the ability to say, I'm gonna go out and spend two or three days in the city and take a bunch of supplies with us um, without n knowing that that's actually gonna hinder our, uh, our in-house supplies quite greatly. And uh, but with the stuff in this house, we might be able to say, okay, um, you know, we, we can do it now, but we, we just can't yet. And the axe is obviously of the utmost importance, especially uh, when needing to construct your own safe house. Um, now we were definitely, we definitely uh, drew the attention of at least one, potentially two zombies. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that the bush noises were that of that one zombie. It does sound like we do have a couple. I don't know where. There's the other one. Alright, so we have another four or five actually. Potentially more. So what we're going to do here is try and drag them up this way and around the trees. And even, um, maybe even, I would say not, I would say ignoring them, whoop. There's another one there. Oh, there's the horde. That's right, they're blocking off the street. Now we're in, oh god, I forgot, we're kind of in a bit of trouble, aren't we? Um, let's take a look. Can we, we have another skill point available, so I'm going to actually spend it. Just one, we could take this one out, for sure. I have no issues risking, not risking it, but... Taking out at least this one. Okay, we apparently did not take out that one. Now we might be able to. There we go. We took the attention of three more by doing that. Hopefully this one fast one will come up here. It looks like we're going to be spending some time kind of just securing our surroundings. Which is unfortunate. Um, we took out another one. That one, the blue shirt's wandering off, which is actually good. Actually, this might end up working out really well for us here. Oh, come on. No, no! We're only slight damage. He didn't even break skin. Alright, good, good. And that actually did nothing, which is even better. Alright. Down you go. Alright, let's go. Alright, that worked out well. Um, or, not, I wouldn't say well. That worked out <clears throat> um, lucky. Lucky is the word I'm looking for, because he didn't break skin. We didn't hear the skin breaking noise. 
which is what I was a little worried about hearing, which is good. All right, we got two more here. We definitely drew quite a few out of the woods, it seems. And the, the finishing of them off noise actually ends up causing a lot more of a ruckus than I originally thought, which I talked about last episode. Um, but that's fine. I'm not entirely worried about it, so long as I have the ability to pull them away one at a time. <clears throat> there we go. And this frying pan is a godsend. Dear Lord, it is so good. How's its durability? It looks like it's not breaking at all. Alright, that's fine. Let's go take out this guy here. Uh, we might be able to just sneak by. No, almost. We almost were able to sneak by him. Okay, back up. Damn. Damn. Down. Really? Really? Alright, we'll, uh, we'll let ourselves catch our breath a little bit. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> that was uh, much better. That guy took the most hits so far. All right. Now we need to be careful because we, <clears throat> we don't know what's sitting in this uh, house. I apologize for like my stuttering. Apparently, I had too many cookies. Really? There's that many? I'd sneak in, but it's just not worth risking it. Actually, it might be. It actually might be. Hang on. Alright, can we, can we, um, right, he's banging on the what window over there, we can sneak in, alright, we're in, we gotta be careful, holy crap, alright, let's uh, open the curtain here, and take as much as we can going to look while we do this. <coughs> I had cookies, and I think it's like clocking up my throat, which is really obnoxious. All right, we are snagging as much as possible. I'm going to keep this open just so I can see. All right, we're looking okay. We got some food tossed in there. Um, well, what else? Can we try and grab everything? Looking out through here is going to be absolutely imperative. We might be able to take everything here. Holy crap. Oh, that must be a watermelon or something. It's taking a while to pack away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can we do this? And we are good. And I think we're gonna we're gonna be okay. Out we go. Holy crap, we got it all. Oh my god. We got it all. All right, we're going to eat this apple, a victory apple, and let's get out of here. Dear Christ, those zombies can have that house. Good. Take it. I don't want it. Oh, my God. I can't believe we did it. I cannot believe we did it. <sighs> okay. Whew. Man, my heart is pounding, 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 pounding. But we did it. All right. Let's go organize all our food, and now, now, with everything that we snatched... Um, I actually feel comfortable being able to head out and take multi-day trips toward the city. I am going to, before our next, uh, before I go out, should I say, and looking for an axe, um, I definitely am going to need to uh, basically take a look at some sort of map and see where the warehouse is. Um, I'm pretty sure I was close to it, uh, but I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, and I, I need to make sure I'm 100% close to it, otherwise... I'm going to be a little bit more uh, inclined to go, go wandering into a, 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 a horde of zombies as I stutter over my words looking for it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Let's. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking as far as plans go, do we try and make it to the city, like, through the roads and heading north and, and to the west, or do we go uh, follow the train tracks again? And attempt to go to the to, to find something through the train tracks. That is that is my big my big consideration here. What what is our essentially our best plan? And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm thinking I'm thinking we head to the train tracks and explore other areas. So that's gonna take I'm gonna take a bunch of apples with us. We should be able to live off five <clears throat> five apples right now. Of course, we need to get our character to sleep first. That's going to be something we're going to do. We're not going to go wandering off like this quite yet. Alright, 
let's swing up here. And let's fast forward a little bit and get our character some good night's sleep. And there we go. All right. Oh, that bang scared me. I thought that might have been a zombie banging at the door or something, but no, it's just Zack Beaver's music doing its job and uh, creeping me out. All right, and it's raining. A rainy day is a good day. I don't know why. I don't actually know if it actually holds any benefit, um, but in zombie lore, it would make it harder to hear because of the pitter-pattering of the rain, and if there was a smell, um, the dampness would, would drown out the smell just a little bit. So we're going to have to start heading out to the train tracks, making our way out that way a little bit, and hope that we're going to come across some better luck as far as when we go looking for uh, stuff. What the hell? Um, you know what? Screw it. I don't really care. That's right. I forgot there were zombies here that I ran past last time. Uh, we are going to try and run past them again. Um, hopefully this time do a better job. Boom. Almost got grabbed there. A little bit scary. Not a big deal, though. Uh, we, if I can lose them in this corner, that's probably best, because next time I come around, it'll give me a nice wide berth to go around them. So that's going to be my hope. Uh, and the train tracks, I'm not going to follow, right? I am going to follow. I'm going to follow them to the this way. To the this way. Good job, Mathis. You know words well. Good English. I know English so well. God. Alright, let's head out this way. And see which way they lead. Now, again, hoping that they lead in the generally right area. I don't... I have a feeling I went this way last time. I just don't remember. Luckily, I'm not going to get too far before I cut this episode so you guys can tell me exactly where I've been. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Da, 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 da.